Now, now in the, if we talk about all these exceptions, we have two perspectives. One, to handle the exception and second, just to suppress the error. If you know that for sure, you're not getting any error, for sure. Something, let, let's go with this operation. What if I say it is k equal to i plus j? So it doesn't matter if my j value is uh, 0 or 4, uh, it will give me an output. It will not throw this error for sure, right? But there are chances that it will throw this IO exception. And we are trying to handle it. For the name's sake, we are trying to handle this. But what if you are lazy enough to not to handle the exception? You don't want to handle the exception, right? Something in this way. You don't want to write this catch block, final block. You're damn lazy, right? Now, in this scenario, still you're getting this error. And you know, as a user, you will always enter some value. You're not dumb. Right? But still Java says, hold on, you, it might throw an error, so you have to handle. In this scenario, you can say, oh, J JVM, listen, I don't want to handle the error, but what I will do is I will suppress the error. I know it will throw an error, so I will suppress it. And how to suppress the error? With the help of throws. So throws is a keyword in Java which, which is used to suppress the errors or exceptions. So we can simply say it is throws exception. Now you can see it has suppressed the error. We are not handling the error, we are just suppressing the error. Again, if you, are, if, you, if you want to be an efficient programmer, always go for try catch. But if you know you will not get any error, it's just to suppress those errors, we can use this throws exception. You can also specify a specific, specific type of exception. You can directly say IO exception. What if you have more exception like SQL? So you can say comma SQL exception. So doesn't matter how many type of exception you want to handle, you can just write using comma, comma, comma. But mind you, this is this will not handle the error. It will just suppress the error. Okay. So this is one type of uh, exception, one type of one keyword in Java. Now what next? So you, now you you got the idea of throws, right? And throws should be always right after the method. Now just come back to the example of uh, try catch we'll use the undo function of uh, editor. Okay, now we have this error, right? Simple. Now what if uh, the operation previously we have, we were using is i divided by, z, I divided by j, in which if your j value is zero, it, should, it will print an exception, right? But let's say it is plus. And in this scenario, if I want to check if my k value is less than 10. That means the output of this 10 should, uh, this k should always be greater than 10 or equal to 10. If this is less than 10, I want to print an error. Error should be something in this way. It should not be, I cannot divide by zero, but the uh, exception should be minimum value for the output. Uh, is 10. This should be the error and I don't want to print any error type here. So what I can simply do is, in this scenario, it will not call that error. So we have to forcefully throw an error and to, to forcefully throw an error, we have to use throw keyword. Which type of error I want to print? I want to say new. I want to print arithmetic exception error. So what it will do? If my output is the value of k is less than 10, it will throw this error. Let me run this. And initially the value of i is 8. And if I say the value of j is 6, the output is 14, right? But what if, if I run this code with a value of j as 1, the, the output, the minimum value for the output is 0, right? So that means we are throwing an uh, error. Uh, you, it might, uh, th you might think that, uh, hold on, we are throwing an error, that means we are forcing to call the error. Uh, Sometimes we have to do this, because there might be chances that you want to check for the value which should be greater than 10, uh, and you are doing all the codes in your catch, so you, you have to throw the exception, right? So this is, this, is the next key this is the keyword we have to use for throwing your own exception. In fact, you can create your own exception. You can, you can create a new class and you can extend with exception. Uh, that, we'll, we'll do that part in the next tutorial. And I, I hope you got the idea of uh, try block, catch block, throws, and throw. 
and do subscribe for the further videos and thank you so much